All right, we just got some breaking news by Jeff Passan that the Texas Rangers and Nathan Uvalde are in an agreement. I don't want my hats like that. The Texas Rangers, man, they just got a little bit better. The rotation finally has a lot more depth with Nathan Uvalde on their team. The starting rotation, including Nathan Uvalde, is Jacob DeGrom. Nathan Uvalde will probably be your second or your third, probably your third. Andrew Heaney probably being your second. You got Martin Perez and John Gray. You also do have Jake Odorizzi. However, Martin Perez could be higher up in the rotation just because he had a stellar season last year an all-star season a five-point war season he really proved himself as a pitcher last year so he could he's honestly probably your ace of your team until you got someone like a Jacob deGrom or something like that so I'm not discrediting Martin Perez I'm just saying that you know maybe he could be a bit lower or in that middle section what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below but hey he was also the best big free agent left on the market so hey the Rangers snagged one from under the rug from everyone else and actually kind of made out with a good deal the Nathan Navalde contract seems to be for two years 34 million dollars according to Jeff Passan. Now, is Nathan Navaldi worth that amount of money for two years? I honestly think so. He's a workhorse. He's a guy that knows how to pe strike people out when he's healthy. He's a dude that can eat innings for you. He's just a good overall package as long as he stays healthy. Nathan Navaldi is now on the Texas Rangers. I think this just makes the Texas Rangers overall a really good team. The great thing about Nathan Avaldi is that he's a guy that's going to go out there and pitch. And yes, he did have some injury issues in the last couple of years, but he did end up almost winning a Cy Young in 2021. He was fourth in Cy Young voting. Nathan Avaldi is a dude. He has a World Series underneath his belt and a person that has a lot of experience in the league. He's been in the league since 2011, but I think Nathan Avaldi is a guy that you can have on this Rangers team to help with the new people that are coming in from the Rangers system. Right now, your rotation has a lot of service time, but there's also a lot of prospects you guys do have that are going to end up coming up and people that could just learn from pitchers like Nathan Avaldi, Jacob DeGrom, and Martin Perez. The Texas Rangers have a great rotation so far. According to Baseball Savant, Nathan Ovaldi has a 70 in fastball velocity, a chase rate of 82, which is really good, and is coming off a probably not so good of a year, but I'm sure he'll have a bounce back year in 2023. Before we get into the Nathan Ovaldi sweepstakes and why the Rangers signed Nathan Ovaldi, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps the channel. I appreciate you. So let's get into it. Last year, Nathan Avaldi pitched to a 3.87 ERA, which doesn't seem that good compared to other people on the team, but he did pitch 109 innings, and in 2021, in his Cy Young contending season, he pitched 182 innings and played 32 games. Nathan Valdi last year played 20 games. You're going to have a person that will take a lot of workload off of your pitching staff. I think Nathan Valdi next year, as long as injuries aren't that much of an issue, but I think Nathan Valdi will be someone that actually picks up innings for you guys and eats innings pretty much and just is there to be a stellar pitcher. Yeah, the ERA is kind of scary. We could all admit that. 3.87 is not what we want from our starting rotation, but it will have to do. I really like this move by the Texas Rangers, mostly because they've been buying pieces is left and right man last year they signed Corey Seager Marcus Semien this year they're going a lot on pitching they got Jacob DeGrom and Andrew Heaney and on top of that you guys just got Nathan Navaldi. the Rangers are really building something for this organization and for an organization that wants to compete for a World Series I think in the next few years we could think about that do I think Nathan Navaldi gets you to a World Series no but I think it definitely helps if you guys wanted to at least contend for a wild card or, or be relevant in that picture I don't think the Rangers will be relevant in the wild card picture or anything like that in the next one to two years maybe three but i do like these moves because it shows that the rangers are actually putting an effort to get players and make the team a better team overall especially with that new stadium you do not want to waste the talent and the opportunity to attract more fans to the sport and to your team and make a household name for the rangers once again overall i just really like this nathan of all the pickup he's a dude that will be there for the team he's a guy that will pitch innings he will eat innings he will just pitch to his max perfection as long as he stays healthy. That's the big thing. He's a right-hand pitcher. He just needs to stay healthy and he'll have a stellar season. I think it's not bad, though. You have a solid rotation in DeGrom, Evaldi, Gray, Perez, and Heaney, and Odorizzi. That's not bad for the Rangers rotation. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name's Joe, aka I'm Mitch. Have a great day. 